Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy, and I help people with their breakups. And today, I have another breakup story. And if you have a breakup story you want to share, please visit writemac.com. Send it in. I possibly could do a video just like this. And if you like this video, give me a like. If you don't like it, don't like it. If you want to subscribe, press that red button. If you want to take it a step further, dig deeper, really get to the bottom of what's going on, I suggest you possibly should consider, and maybe it might be best for you if you do a live coaching session with myself or another coach out there. But you need to talk this out sometimes and get it all out on the table in an hour or two hours. So let's get into it. Uh, this, just full disclosure, this guy had told me before that his English isn't very good. I believe he said he was from Croatia. Um, and I'm going to do the best I can, but people out there listening, this is sometimes difficult because the English is off a little bit. But I aim to over-deliver, and I appreciate the fact that you sent this in and value my opinion. Hi, Mac. I was in a relationship for 20, minutes, 20 months. We lived in the same city, and she moved to another city about 100 miles away for college. We had some fights here and there, but things were finally going well. I had a party with my class, and I sat on another girl's lap with a friend of mine, which is a friend of mine. Okay, well, I don't know if you crossed the line or didn't cross the line, but I bet your ex didn't like that. My ex saw that on Instagram story and said, we need to talk. She told me she will come to my city so we can talk about that. Then we stopped talking for four days and she came to my city so we could talk about it. Okay, she left me because I was doing that stuff and I was jealous of her and didn't let her go out with her friends and many other things. Yep, jealousy isn't bad. You need to understand why you are jealous. Why is this a part of your personality? What's the root of that? When was the first time you were jealous? Are you insecure? What's your reasons? She said she tried to make she she said she tried to be a better person. I w try to make a better person and I wasn't changing that she was feeling fear because of my reactions to her. She you don't want her to be fearful. I respect that she was right. I was very bad, but now I am a changed man. I had a porn addiction. And I admit to her before that, now I am 40 days clean. Well, good for you. They call that no fap, I believe. And the fact that you, you know, have an addiction that you're working on, and I think it's quite common these days on the internet, good for you. Good for you to address it. I hope it's working out for you. I learned not to be, I learned not to be jealous and really a better person. Well, that takes some time. It's a, it's a life Life's work to be a better human, right? But you're on the right track. I'm a person she always wanted. We broke up on January 20th. I tried to reach out to her through messages until she blocked me on WhatsApp on February 15th. Just because you change and you feel like you're not jealous anymore doesn't mean she believes you. Doesn't mean the smoke hasn't cleared. After that, I didn't send her any message. She still has me on Instagram, but removed every like from my pictures and my comments on her pictures. That's telling you that she's done. She became more active on Instagram. She became she came to my city with her roommates a few days ago, which is March 16th. Like I said, the smoke is clear. There's been a few months. We went out to the disco. I was there. I talked face to face with my ex. She was smiling and asked about my school, and I gave her a one arm hug, kissed her on the neck, and told her I will be in her city in a few months because of some things I have to do, and we will go out. And then she said, "Okay." After that, I went to see her roommates. And they told me they feel sorry for me because I don't know what I lost and the things like that. When I first met her roommates, I was acting bad and rude to them. And after half an hour, half an hour I asked my ex in the disco, will she go out with for some food? And she said she won't. I don't think she's interested in getting back together. I don't think she believes that you've changed that much. And you need to change for yourself. After that, my friend of mine told me to go out and he will talk to her. Then... They were, you don't want your friend talking to a girl to get her attention for you. That's weak. They were talking, and she said that she is sorry that the relationship ended, but she is not coming back to me, and she can't love me anymore. That's the bottom line. Accept it. Be done. She didn't see I'm a changed person and a better person. The idea that you're a changed person and a better person, your opinion of who you are and what you think of yourself, it doesn't mean she's going to go, oh, yeah, I see that too. She just remembers who you were in the past relationship, and she could be a different person right now, and she's already moved forward. She doesn't want to revisit the relationship except that. Everyone tells me it's over, and I, never, and I will never get her back, but I won't stop. No. This isn't one of those things where you're going to be a hero, oh, I won't stop, and you're in a movie. This is highly unattractive to a woman. You're not listening. 
It's annoying. It's upsetting her. And you mentioned before that she used to fear you. Stop. I don't like this. I won't stop. Right now, I'm in no contact, and I want to know your opinion. Stay in no contact for you. Move forward. Do not contact her anymore and accept the fact that she doesn't want to be with you, and she's told your friend. She's told you. And the fact that you're a better person and you're not jealous, good for you. I'm happy for you. Keep it up, and someone else will appreciate it. I know I have, like, zero chances to get her back, but this is more than love. It's more than love to you. If you feel like you have zero chances, move forward. I met her on a birthday party I didn't want to go to because I was sick. God sent her to me. Okay. We both had hard times when we were kids. My father hit me and my brother and my mother. I'm sorry to hear that. He was in jail because of that. Now I'm living with that same father and mother, and he's always arguing. He's always acting wrong to me and, my, and the mother, and sometimes I'm scared of him. This is a separate problem than your relationship. And I don't have an immediate answer for you, but if you're an adult, you need to find a way to move out of the house. And what your mother accepts is on your mother. If the police aren't involved or, or things like that, but you need to become an adult and probably move out of that house. My brother never talks to me. My grandpa and grandma lives far away from me, and I see them every few years. I don't have anyone except my mother who is always with me. Because of that, I can't give up on my ex. You're not giving up on your ex. You're letting her go. And you're working on yourself and you're making, giving yourself the opportunity to meet someone else. And she had hard times when she was a child. She was sick and her and, and beat her and her, someone beat her and her sister. And now he is a better person, a very good man. Her family is moving to another state because of job. I know it is hard for her because of them and college, which is very hard. And probably she doesn't want her for me right now but i won't stop trying to get her back stop trying it's not attractive it's not helping you the more you try the more it's gonna the more you're gonna push her away sorry because of the long text but please read this to help me i don't have money to pay you because i'm a student but next year i'm finishing my school and i'm starting to work i will be a male nurse then i promise i will pay for this with the first money i make i will pay you a hundred dollars sorry for the bad english i'm living in croatia here we don't speak English. I'm hoping you will answer me. I know it's long, but please answer me to what to do. Move forward. Be better for you. Work on your jealousy. Read some good books. The Rational Male by Rollo Tomasi. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. Stop trying. Don't have this attitude like you won't stop. You're pushing her away more and more. Work on your studies. Being a male nurse is a great field. I'm very, very happy for you. And this idea that you're still living with your parents because you have to, you're doing what you have to do, and that's tough. Maybe donate some time to some other people out there that will appreciate who you are. But stop trying with your ex. You need to move forward right now. She's told you. She's told your friend. And now you're scaring her a little bit by not stopping. Focus on your studies. Focus on being a better person. Like I said, read good books. Sending this story in was a good first step because you're looking for solutions right now. So, and go to the gym, exercise, focus on yourself, okay? I hope that helps you. Please visit rightmac.com and thank you for supporting the channel.